The monthly Frontier Unlocked livestream just got finished and once again we've had an information dense drop from the Cambridge based developers of Elite Dangerous. We know what the next new ship to hit the game is and we've seen the first very early details of the galaxy changing new feature coming to the game and we're breaking it all down for you right now. I can't quite believe I'm saying this yet again for the fourth time this year but here is the latest new ship to enter the game and it's honestly gorgeous. This ladies and gentlefolk is the first look at the brand spanking new Cobra Mark V. Having started this year with a dedicated combat vessel in the shape of the Python Mark II we got introduced to the Type 8 transport hauler vessel and then most recently of all and arriving this week in fact the Mandalay Explorer. Frontier have decided to make their next new ship to the game and the ship that will mark the 10th anniversary of Elite Dangerous much more of an all rounder in the shape of a reimagined take on what is now a design classic. The Cobra Mark V is a medium class vessel so notably bigger than the 3 or the 4 and to reflect that change we know that the vessel will house an extra seat in the cockpit compared to its historic counterparts bringing it to a total of 3 commanders. With the pilot seat now centrally mounted and 2 multi crew seats positioned at either side behind. As you'd expect this ship will have improved performance stats over its siblings and whilst it wasn't explicitly stated in the information FDev shared with us we think it a given that it will natively support supercruise overcharge. Frontier have also stated and it's evident from the images they have supplied that the ship features excellent views from the bridge through its very large flat glass windows with minimal supporting framework including looking down and forward of the command chair. There's no official schedule on when the ship will be arriving yet but you can expect something similar to the other 3 ships this year and I'd be very surprised if you didn't have it as an option for Christmas at the very least. On to the new feature then, something that was teased to the community initially at the start of this year and we finally now some 9 months later know what it is. System colonization and player driven expansion of the bubble of human space is coming to Elite Dangerous. Frontier have offered up a very surface level initial look at the new feature for right now but we can confirm the following frankly absolutely game changing new features. Players will be able to colonize unpopulated systems they find that are what FDev describe as within reach so we're assuming this means you'll need some semblance of civilization to be within a given radius of your chosen system so we'll definitely be seeing an expansion of the bubble rather than new isolated bubbles popping up all over the galaxy. Once players have a system they will build a new type of establishing starport or space depot. In the images that have been released the new anchor point in the stars sports a very minimalistic and functional appearance with rows upon rows of containers dotted between the many landing pads. Presumably these containers are holding the construction materials for what comes next. Once established players will choose how they expand the infrastructure within the system placing the familiar existing starports, facilities, settlements and stations as they see fit and the placement and style of these assets will go on to determine the economy that the system later supports. Expansion into the system will utilize a new capital class system colonization vessel clearly from the same shipyards as the familiar fleet carriers in the game. You won't be limited to one such system. The notes from Frontier have said that technically speaking it's possible to daisy chain many such established systems together moving to the next system and the next once each system is established with a supporting depot. 
Frontier have, of course, promised more details on future episodes of Frontier Unlocked. However, it's important to understand that, from what we're hearing, this isn't a background simulation style expansion. This appears to be driven at the very minimum level by individual commanders choosing what happens to a system that they themselves become the architect of. Once systems are established then it appears that BGS and indeed Powerplay 2 can use it as territory the same as anywhere else and indeed the systems will have a value based on how they've been constructed. But the actual establishment and creation of the assets is commander driven in some fashion. We're looking forward to getting more details from Frontier next month but in a very real sense it appears that the forthcoming colonization era of Elite will be designed to afford much more meaning to the gameplay of explorers and haulers in particular as well as providing much needed expansion space to BGS and powerplay making all those systems much more dynamic and meaningful in the process. What do you think of the new colonization features outlined today? How do you think the system is going to change life in the galaxy and will you be mothballing your venerable Cobra in favour of a newer sleeker model? Let us know in the comments below. If you've enjoyed this video be sure to like and subscribe so that YouTube shows you all our content and if you'd like to support our work here at the Burr Pit you can also join our Patreon. Links to that and everything we've talked about in this video you'll find linked below. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We very much look forward to seeing you next time.